Hello, sweet souls. Happy Saturday, April 21st. Um, I'm going to do a quick reading. I literally just drove 12 hours and wanted to do a reading for you guys because I know a lot of you watch for the readings and I didn't want to disappoint. So I am exhausted, but I wanted to come on and do a reading for you. So um, we're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. And what does the collective need to know, please? Wow. You know, you have someone, or this could be many people, watching you. They're watching you step into your personal power with no place like home. Um, you're being your true authentic self and it's bringing you so much happiness. This may bring about questions for people like they don't understand why um, or how you do what you do. Um, the bottom of the deck is regeneration. It's because you transformed. You went through an ascension. So I'm going to get clarifiers for this, guys. Okay, so please clarify observer. 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 Yeah, so it's a group, Three of Cups. It's a group of people watching you on your new path. Um, Seven of Pentacles in reverse can talk about um, a bad investment or planning that didn't work out. This can be a group of people that didn't wish you well and they're upset because they're, whatever actions they took to try to stop your progress, it didn't work. Because with the chariot, spirit's moving you forward into victory. I'm gonna clarify with another deck really quick. Um, this Seven of Pentacles in reverse. So, please clarify the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Please clarify the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Please clarify the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. High Priestess. Oops, sorry. Give me one more for the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, look at that. Someone was plotting and planning on a way to trap the high priestess, which is you, collective. Get you stuck in your mind, a mental prison, or make you feel trapped, okay? But it didn't work. The, the plan didn't work, whatever this is. It's crazy because you're moving on to victory. All right, let's keep going. <clears throat> People don't understand that when you have a destiny, there's nothing that they can do on any level to interfere with your destiny because it comes from God. Please clarify, clarify no place like home. Yeah. This is the higher front energy and this is you tapping in. This is you being connected with God, being guided by God to be your true authentic self. And people are upset because you're not interested in them. These are people you've cut out of your life or people that are connected to those you cut out of your life. Give me one more for no place like home. Yeah, Ace of Wands sideways because you're not interested. You don't want to connect with them. You don't want to work with them. You don't want to have a passion new beginning with these people. Okay, please clarify happy, happy. Happy, happy. Wow, my gosh. You guys, this is crazy. Your happiness is upsetting this false emperor. This is an emperor who fell from grace, a tyrant. Um, narcissistic, controlling, dominating energy that didn't want you to move on. This is a love bomber, by the way. That's one of their characteristics. And this person is very upset. Yeah. Wow. This is an injustice that's being done. Whatever they're doing, they're, this can be slander. This can be cyber stalking. Whatever this injustice is, tell me about this injustice. Knight of Pentacles. They've been doing it over and over and over again, this injustice. Whether they're going to pay practitioners, having spell work done, or they're just sending you bad energy, they've been doing it over and over a very long time. And they're doing it to a star, someone that carries the light of God, right? Okay. 
Give me one more for happy, happy and this energy here. Yeah. This is someone in a lower vibrational energy with the page of wands that's going to experience karma because of what they've done to try to interfere with your destiny. That's karma. Okay. Please clarify why. Wow. Oh my gosh. They didn't know why or how the illusions didn't work that they cast on you. They, they don't know how. Now their world is turned upside down. And this is because of whether it's black magic, negative energy, slander, whatever negative actions they took toward you, it's coming back to them. And it's turning everything in their life upside down because of what they did to a star, a high priestess. Please clarify why. Wow. Could be somebody that has Leo placements with a, a strength card coming out sideways. This is a coward. This is someone who who is deceptive, but gets other people to do their dirty work so they can say that they didn't do it. Wow, okay. What advice do you have the, for the collective regarding this? Keep keep moving, keep walking. Don't look, don't look back, don't worry about the past. Eight of Cups is leave it in the past, just keep going. What advice do you have for the collective? They're saying see from a higher perspective. See from a higher perspective <clears throat> who these energies are. Yeah, that they're only just trying to bring chaos and conflict into your life and it doesn't matter. Then spying to see if it works. What other advice do you have? The sun, you're gonna have happiness and victory anyway in career and finance. Okay, what advice do you have for the cross watcher that's been doing this to the collective? What do they need to know? Wow, they're gonna have no peace. They're not gonna be able to move on from the situation and they're gonna experience bad karma with judgment in reverse. They made a bad choice, a bad decision. Wow, that's crazy. What else do we need to know? Yeah, this Knight of Wands is not gonna be able to defend himself for the actions that they're taking. Okay, so what's gonna happen? Well, there's a king of swords here in the upright. This is um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is someone that is honest. This is someone that speaks the truth. And this is someone that is witnessing what this group of people are doing against you. There's been blocked communication. Um, you know, maybe this person knows that they've been trying to block you in some way, trying to block your new beginning with the page of cups, trying to block your new start. But this person, this king of swords, um, is going to speak some truth about this situation. And I think we got the whistleblower energy. I think it was, I don't know what day it was, but regardless, you're going to be receiving victory. Not only are you going to be recognized for who you are and what you do, but you're also going to have new opportunities that need that lead to financial abundance. You are the high priestess, highly intuitive, highly connected. And there's nothing these people can do. They're going to go through karma. Look, death endings in their life tower like complete destruction they're trying to resist they're trying to prevent the tower but they can't because this is universal law this is karma because of the actions that they've put out into the environment and what you put out you get back that's universal law i mean that's just the way it is and there's nothing they can do to to change that they can't prevent it they have to pay it pay for it you went through a transformation and that came out. Transformation. And then we got compassion. You, Your compassion is what sets you apart from others. You're loving, you're kind, you're empathetic, and you're compassionate. And you've already done your shadow work. And now you're on a sacred journey. Wow. Communication. You communicate with the divine. That's awesome. All right, let's do the angels and ancestors. What advice do you have for the collective? Thank you. That's too many. Okay, first card we got out was She-Wolf. Unleash the wild within and shield maiden. Make plans and focus. Don't worry about who's doing what behind your back. It doesn't matter. The universe is taking care of it. 
um, knight, be brave and honest. Speak your truth. Go after what it is that you're meant to go after, what you're meant to create with the high priest energy. Again, they're validating you have a divine purpose, a divine path. You're highly intuitive, very psychic, very connected, and you have a purpose that no one can stop. Look at this. Lady, enjoy growth and reap rewards. Your blessings, your rewards are coming no matter what these people do. They're only accumulating karma for themselves. Spring, seeing your seeds grow. That's awesome. Okay. And you know, Mercury retrograde coming up here. It's just um, people are going to be doing things out of character. They're not going to be able to hide it. They're going to, their masks are going to fall off. They're asking you to see with your heart. The time is now to hear the messages. Um, God's guiding you right now. He doesn't want you to worry. He's guiding you. We also have you deserve good things. Keep your focus on what you want. Don't worry about people uh, being in dark energy. Don't worry about it. It doesn't affect you. Believe in your power to manifest. Breathe your creation into existence. You can manifest whatever you desire. Enjoy where you are. For soon, you will be somewhere else. That's beautiful, guys. I love that. Okay, guys, this is a reading I have for you. <clears throat> I love you, and I hope you have an amazing day. If somebody from your past tries to email, text, what have you, don't respond. Don't even respond. Don't waste your energy. Um, the whole plan here is to get you trapped or stuck. Um, so don't bother. Don't waste your energy, guys. Just uh, keep moving. Keep focused on what you're manifesting. Keep creating what you're creating and know that you're on the right path and you're divinely protected, okay? All right, I love you. Bye-bye.